Welcome to the Larbert Oaks Mansion Ghost Tour. Built in 1887, five generations of Farsis have inhabited this mansion. And an unusual number of them have met their deaths under suspicious circumstances. Bad for them. Good for me. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a ghost tour. <laughs> <laughs> there are over 20 suspicious deaths. So during the tour, why don't you guys stay close to me? We wouldn't want to make it 21 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's just after 10 p.m. This is the adult tour, which means you can drink if you want, and we can say whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Jizz. Sorry? Jizz. Like cum shot? You can say that because we could say whatever the hell we want. Or horse cock. Yeah, I guess. There are no rules about swearing. Awesome. But let's try and keep the comments and questions about the ghost tour, okay? Now, if you'll follow me. Now, unfortunately for our wait staff, our two most off-sighted ghosts reside here in the dining room. Or as we like to call it in Lambert Oaks ghost tour, the dying room. Any of these fuckers ever pop out of the fucking wall and say, fuck, there's a horse cock in my room or a donkey dick? Not to my knowledge. Got it. These are the exact dishes set out for Eliza and Henry Farsley the night they met their untimely demise. I guess Henry should have swiped left. <laughs> Any of these fuckers ever just fall out of the fucking ceiling and have like a big old messy shit? I don't have an answer for you. Or a dingleberry. I have a question. When people see Eliza and Henry, what are they wearing? Okay, that's a great question. Okay, so we find apparitions are most commonly wearing the clothes that they died in. Oh yeah! Do they ever just like fucking run around nude and you see like one of their big old fucking hairy nuts? Hey, can I can I talk to you for a second, please? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, come with me. Look, I'm glad you're having fun. It's interesting, the ghost. You're ruining the tour. But it's the adult tour, it's not for kids. Dude, I work really hard at what I do, and you're totally insulting it. I just asked if they were ever falling out of the ceiling. Grow the hell up! Stop trying to be funny! This is the worst day I've ever had on this job. And if you want to stay on this tour, shut the hell up. You got it? Yes. Good. Exactly to the day, three years later, just as she predicted it. And the only witness? The exact same Charles Croft, who saw her mother's fall. Does anyone have any other questions? Not trying to be funny. You're not trying to get a laugh. I'm not trying to have anybody have the worst day at their job. But, do any of these fuckers just blast out of the wall and have like a huge cum shot? <coughs> no, they don't. Okay, cool. I just asked you not to do this. You can't change the rules just because you don't like how I'm doing it. Can or can we not swear? Yes, I'm not changing any rules. Big fat low to come then. I'm just asking for you to use a little bit more judgment when you talk. I don't know what's going on, but somewhere our wires got crossed. You're saying that we're allowed to swear. I'm saying big fat low to come and horse cock and you're getting mad. Do you see where I'm like, uh, look, I've had enough. Okay, you're done. I just, you're done. 
We're sick of listening to your crap. Now get on it. Hi, Mom. You're making me French? Not really.